In terms of language, I thought it would naturally come when he goes to school. He um, is very hesitant. When you ask him questions, actually he wouldn't understand. Lah. So he doesn't know what you're saying, so he won't reply you. Unless I speak to him, I ask him again in English, then he will say, oh, okay, that's what you're asking. Okay, this is the answer. His friends, his teachers are all communicating with him in English. So I think um, we only spend like a few hours with him at home and probably, you know, the exposure wasn't enough. So I find that Rilingo is, is uh, a pretty good preparation for him as he enters primary one in two years time uh, because part of the curriculum actually teaches him how to write Chinese in simple strokes. After each lesson, they actually have this uh, function called the Unity Homework for the kids to complete. So it's actually pretty convenient because you can do it anytime anywhere that you want. You can even do it on a tablet or a mobile phone. During his lessons, I try to stay with him. And if I can't, it's okay because after the lesson, usually we'll go through and watch the playback. So we can just go through, even though the 10 minutes that I missed, I can actually look through and then revise it with him. So ever since then, I think after Lingo is, I can see that there's definitely an improvement. So he will attempt to answer uh, in Mandarin. He will try, la. it might be wrong, but um, I mean, he gave it a shot. <laughs> for, like, for myself, my parents and my in-laws, they can't converse in English. So I will think that you know, being able to communicate effectively in Chinese will help the child and the grandparents to foster a better relationship. I think it's becoming so normal for him to speak to the grandparents in uh, Chinese. So sometimes like when we tell him, hey Kayan, go and tell Ama that we are going for dinner, then he will run over to the grandparents and say, Ama, we're going to eat.